Today we've got Julia and we're talking about my hair. So with my hair... Nice head of hair. Thank you, I appreciate that. Let me cover this up. <laughs> anyway, no, so we're talking about curly hair and Julia has gorgeous, gorgeous curly hair and I want her to share with you some of her secrets to maintaining this curly hair. I see her basically every single day and she's got this That's routine, true. right? You're lucky. I am lucky <laughs> to be in your presence every day. Steven. It's an honor, <laughs> it's an honor. Uh, and no, seriously. So, I paid him to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did cut Julia's hair not that long ago. And this time I gave her a little more shape, like a little face frame in the front. And it's made a big difference. What do you think so far? About I've been it? loving it. I got compliments on it. I feel like as long as I get compliments on it, I'm pretty happy about it. But right away, I already like a little better. It's so much lighter. Before, I felt like I just had... You know what you said, like a dead animal with the TikTok? That's what it felt like on my head. But now That's what it looked like, too. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you see me every day watch it. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> but you no, know, it's so much better. It's so much lighter. I definitely see in over here, it yeah. definitely shapes my face nicer. And I think next we're going to go like more layers, see where it takes wow. us. I know. Because this hasn't bothered me. I like it. Yeah. Well, here's the thing about Julia's hair, which is really interesting. So I asked her a specific question. I said, you know, are you looking for more volume like in through this area? And she was like, no, I do not want to look like a poof ball. And I said, okay, but you want, you need a little more movement and texture. So what I did is I created a face frame with no external layering out this way. I just angled it in this way. So we still have the weight here, which weighs her hair down, but it just gives it some fullness right into this area. Okay. Now, I particularly like Julia's hair <laughs> when it's all natural and this is all doing its own natural thing. <laughs> she doesn't like it. I think she looks gorgeous with it. Thank but, you. But why, any particular reason why you like it more controlled? Than I know. So over here, I like proofing it up a little bit up top because I don't like to look so matted down. But I also think that once it starts, so curly hair is really interesting because everyone that has curly hair will have like really tight curls, will have loose curls. Some people more like the wavy hair. I have like more banana curls. They kind of like stay in their lane. But once you go up here, if I don't put any product in my hair, it's it's nice. It's a lot of waves, but it's also not really frizz, but it doesn't look tamed. Like it's a little too out of control. And just the way that I feel like I look, that type of hairstyle doesn't work for me. But then on other people, I'm like, oh, I want your beachy waves. But the joke is I probably have beachy waves naturally. Yeah. But then the way that it looks on me, I'm like, oh my God, I can never wear it. But then. I feel like it's also a confidence thing because some people have like that giant hair and it's like a statement. You know what I mean? Like I don't want my hair to be such a statement when people meet me because I feel like it's already not The so... looks are already overwhelming and exactly. she's I so can't, pretty. Exactly. And then, you know. No, he gets it. He gets it. But I feel like I can't have my hair be like so loud. And that's the thing with curly hair. It can feel very... Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it feels like loud. It's like in your face. And like for some people, it looks absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous. I'm obsessed with it. But then for me, I feel like... It's overpowering. That's how my chest hair is. <laughs> no, that's how you get the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> ladies, look at this carpet over here, okay? <laughs> you want that. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, so an interesting thing is she has a routine. And anyone who's got curly hair, whether you're male or female, you know what's right and wrong for oh, curly yeah. hair. Like, for example, when you wash your hair, the last thing you want to do is take a towel as soon as you get out of the shower and start rubbing your hair vigorously. No. It's gonna turn into a big frizz ball, right? It's not central. You wanna cry. Every time I get out of the shower, it's like so many knots. That's why I use this. 25 spray. <laughs> 25 spray. So what's your routine then? Tell us okay. your routine. You wash In your hair. In the shower, I use clean and condition, which is like extremely moisturizing. It's my favorite one of the shampoo and conditioner products that you make. And out of all the ones, because I've tried store-bought too. I'm not going to like give those names away. But I've tried store-bought too, and they work. But then I learned that the ingredients in them, it's actually really bad for your hair. So then when I started using your products, I can tell my hair is a lot healthier. So there is an advantage to buying higher quality products, obviously, but especially for curly hair, people that know it's like, if you have the wrong product, it'll feel like disgusting. It gets all dry and it just doesn't look good throughout the day. So with your hair products, clean condition, if you have curly hair or you're someone that has more dry hair, that out of all your products is just like the best one because it's so like moisturizing. Yeah. So I recommend, especially if you have like thicker hair though, cause it's definitely pretty moisturizing. So you want to have like enough hair. Then, Right after the shower, I go in with 25 spray because this is like the holy grail of products. I, if you have curly hair, you know the second you get out of the shower, it's like not central. Like you just want to cry. Like I'm going through with the brush, it's like terrible. 
but this thing makes it so easy. It's as if I have like naturally just like the blonde, perfect, like fine straight hair because of this product. So this is like the golden key to life. Buy this product. <laughs> I recommend it. Code YouTube 20, 20% 20 off That's all right. orders. Wait, wait. Let me ask you, you spray this in when it's wet? Or yes, do you, when How it's do you wet. dry your, you just like blot it a little I, bit or? All right, I feel like, I don't know how you, like your views on this, but right when I get out of the shower, I like flip my hair over and put in that towel like. Okay, but you're not like rubbing it like crazy, No, right? no. So I when do you spray of... this in after you take it out of the yeah, towel? Yeah, after, because I'll do like my makeup and then I'll take off the towel, spray this in throughout my entire hair, like a, not a, a like a good amount of just like sprays throughout. Right, right. Um, and then after I'm done with this, I just brush it through. And then I like my curls, as I said before, to kind of stay in their own lane. Like, no, wait, I wait, wait, everywhere. wait. One. This, before yeah. we switch to that one, this is also great for what? Detangling. Yeah, no, that's what I was saying with detangling. the knots. Yeah, detangling. Yes. Knots, is... if you have knots, straight hair, curly hair, whatever. Everything. I use this before I even cut someone's hair. If, if, if somebody has really long hair, male or female, I'll spray like four or five spritzes on and comb it through right before I even cut. So yeah. this, it, is, this product yeah. is amazing, 25 spray. And then afterwards, so normally people would assume this is more for men. Which makes sense. It's more of like a cream hair color, but we're gender free. Mm -hmm. Our product, our products are all gender free. Right. So it's funny because I actually use this product and it's amazing. And I think most women, what is it? What's the, the cream hair clay, yep. the yellow tin. I think yeah. most women would assume this isn't for their hair, but I just open it up and what I do is I take a scoop out of it, put it in my hand, rub it in, and I just go through my curls like pretty gently to make sure that it just has that matte look so it doesn't look like I have gel in my hair because I've used gels in the past or like a mousse and then it feels really crusty, which I don't like. And it also looks wet the entire day, but I want this to look more like full and natural. So this product, the Cream Hair Clay, definitely does a great job of making it look like a natural finish rather than having like the crunchy okay. ends, which I think a lot of people with curly hair that use products have. Well, let me, let me ask you this. When, you, when it comes to you scoop it, and when you're working it into your hands, there's two, two ways you can go with this product. You can work it lightly in the hands so that you still see the product and it's a bit more on the creamy side, or you can keep working it through and emulsifying it into your hands to where it's almost disappeared and it's a bit more of a firmer, like more of a gritty type texture. Mm -hmm. what, which one do you do? I do it while it's still like the white and creamy. Okay. Then I kind of push it, like do it through my hair. Like I go like this and, and I just get the curls. Oh yeah, so all, like the extra on my hands, I try to put up here so that I don't your get edges. all the frizz. Your yeah, edges. my edges. <laughs> <laughs> my edges, you know. There's one picture of me on Instagram I that I posted. Like it just like curl. Like the curls are just coming out on the sides, and someone goes, "Your edges look great here." Yeah. <laughs> I think not intentional. Like, ed edges on fleek or something. Yeah, edges <laughs> on fleek. It's the funniest thing. That's like a little self promo for That's my right. Instagram. That's right. But this product yeah well it still has like the white in my hands like the product you still see it i put it through my hair the extra that i have at the end just like throughout my head not really on top because i don't want it to look oily okay um this but wouldn't do that though it wouldn't make your hair oily yeah it, oh, it's, so it's, it's it's you know it doesn't amazing have, product <laughs> yeah because another tip is if you can do that and what you can do is on the layer like you're told you have a little extra mm -hmm. with the on the palm of your hands almost like it's like a light layer you just layer i'm not gonna touch but like you no just, i trust you, with you my just, no you just literally <laughs> lay it flat you just lay it on right mm -hmm. and if you lay it on it's adding that extra barrier or um it helps prevent the hair from frizzing out and stuff like that so yeah. literally just lay it instead of not working it through just lay it on uh on the top layer of your hair and that's, an, that's another little tip what about the fragrance of this now even though you're a female obviously and yeah. it you know when this was made, we we went with specific fragrance notes. The product smells incredible, but do you feel like, oh, it's too masculine or, I mean, what do you yeah, think of so it? Yeah, so this product, smell that. That's like, that's heaven. It's like, so refreshing. If you could imagine what heaven smells like, it's, prob it's probably No, it's my cologne, Julia. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Um, yeah, never mind. I have to smell this again. <laughs> but no, this product smells amazing. It has more of a clean scent rather than it being that overpowering cologne scent, mm -hmm. which, I mean, I don't mind either because I think that pretty much anyone can wear any scent, like doesn't really matter that much. But I definitely like a clean scent more than I like either like a perfume. Cause even when I wear perfume, I don't want something so floral, like in your face. I like it more smelling like, okay, she's fresh, she smells good. Yeah. So that's what this product smells like. Totally, like it's just perfect, clean. Someone smells your hair, they're like, oh wow, when'd you wash this like two seconds ago? And like, right. you could have washed it five days ago. So you, you could be, you know, any person, male, female, whatever, with the same type of curl pattern, the same hair type she's got a lot of hair and a very very thick hair 
and I've seen multiple people with this type of hair. And what would be your kind of biggest hair tip for anyone watching that has curly hair? Like, don't do this, yeah. make sure you do this. I would say make sure you keep it hydrated. That is the number one thing because yeah, 25 is probably really this and cleaning condition, the shampoo and conditioner that we have. Look at that balance, woo! I didn't know I was going to the circus today too. <laughs> I'm a circus freak, let's go. <laughs> circus freak. But definitely keep it hydrated and moisturized because you'll have like disgusting hair if you don't. Like curly hair just is known like to dry out. You have like, you don't want dandruff, especially we're going into the summer. Everyone's hair gets sunburned. Like you wanna make sure you're just like keeping it good and looking good. So use 25 spray. And then if you are someone like me that wants to hold it more back or even doesn't want it to look so frizzy, this is really a great just anti-frizz product in my opinion. So any type of curly hair, really any hair at all, if you wanna hold back the frizz, and it, you don't want it to look like you have product in your hair, use this, best product by far, like amazing. And I've used a good majority of his products, especially like all the, the clays, paste, waxes, whatever it was. And I've gone through them all and this one just wins at the end of the day, but even though they're all amazing. But for my hair type, this one is definitely the best. Okay, I appreciate that. And let's yeah. give them a little, little inside scoop, some top secret information. We are going to be <laughs> doing some tweaks with our styling products, which I'm very, very excited about. We've been working very hard on them and probably I'd say two to three months, everything should be ready. But new packaging, new look and feel, new-ish type products, you know, we're really, <laughs> we're really gonna be condensing some things with the line to make it just a bit more focused. And, you know, I was obsessed, I'll be honest with everybody, I was very obsessed with hair products because of once you understand the manufacturing process, I became obsessed. I want this, I want that, let's He's go, make chemist. this, make that. Yeah, I mean, literally it's like, but I've realized that that yeah. just makes too many, it's too confusing. So now what we're doing is we're gonna be kind of reworking the styling products, still keeping you know the, fav the faves, but we're gonna be making them even better. And that's what we're gonna be doing yeah. in the next couple of months. So everything's still the same. Uh, you know, enjoy them. Well, we have to tell them this is really important. They have to go and check out the last chance sale on our website, shop.thesalongguy.com, right. because after that, there will be no more. So go buy a well supplies. It's last. your last chance. YouTube 20 for an additional 20% off. Oh, no, it's the last chance. It's actually, I'm broke, ladies and gentlemen. I'm broke because <laughs> of this YouTube 20. Stop using YouTube 20, for I God's sake. It's like thousands of people. It's ridiculous. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. This is why I have a job. Yeah, and also, <laughs> Free shipping on orders $50 and above, all right? So we're excited. We're, we're trying to offer as much as we can. Yeah. You know, I, I'm doing YouTube videos every single day, Monday through Friday, to try to bring you guys great content. Julia is amazing. She's like my right-hand person. Steven is amazing. <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> we're that. We're starting a podcast. Yeah, um, it's called the Steve Cast. Steve Cast. Right, Steve Cast. Steve AM. Steve AM, yeah, that's Steve right. AM. That's it's gonna be name. so boring, AM won't even pick it up. That's, that's you know. <laughs> The internet won't even pick it up. That's how boring yeah, it's going to be. Yeah, it's like, get off. <laughs> <laughs> now, Julie and I, we have great chemistry. She's really uh, amazing. And we met on, what was it, Match.com or what was it? I forget what it was. No, what was it? Like, Ten? Christian, like, uh, no, um, JD for the Jews. No, Jewish wife oh, finder. We got a Jew and we have a Christian. <laughs> that's right. Catholic, Catholic and a Jew. That's oh. right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> now, we, we, I mean, literally, she's amazing. She's really, I know you don't see her that much, but yeah. she's behind the scenes. <laughs> Always, uh, always keeping things going. So that's it. We had a lot of fun today. And let us know if you found these curly hair tips helpful. And we'll see you soon.